It's nearly midnight at the beach, and people are just arriving. They're not here to swim or to fish. They're actually here for science. They're searching for a prehistoric creature, one that predates the dinosaurs. On full moons like tonight, they rise out of the oceans in the thousands. And that's when scientists take the opportunity to study them, the horseshoe crab. To understand the story behind why these citizen scientists are here, we have to go back. Way back. The horseshoe crab can be found in fossil records dating back 445 million years. For reference, the T-Rex lived around 83 million years ago, meaning the horseshoe crab has it beat by hundreds of millions of years. They survived apocalypse after apocalypse in the depths of the seas, until today. Decades ago, humans began to harvest them. We piled them up in the thousands for bait and for food, but also for something very valuable. Their blood. If you've ever had a vaccine, you've likely been helped by their blood. A certain protein in horseshoe crab blood called Limulus amoebocyte lysate, or LAL, is very valuable in testing medical equipment. Here's why. Bacteria by itself can be harmful, and we have tests that can detect it. Even more, we have antibiotics that can kill it. But when it dies, a new problem arises. Bacteria that is dead releases endotoxins. These are toxins that were inside the bacteria and are released when the bacteria die. And they're very hard to detect. LAL, the extract from horseshoe crab blood, is actually very good at it. Whenever it comes into contact with endotoxins, it clots, forming a gel. It's used worldwide to test medical equipment and vaccines before they are given to humans. Nowadays, we have non-lethal harvesting techniques where we capture, drain blood, and release. However, new science tells us that this may still kill a significant amount of crabs, even after they're released. As of now, we don't know our continued effect on their species. And so, as they have helped us, a select few noble citizens have stepped up to help them. Under the light of their headlamps, they wade into the water, waiting for horseshoe crabs to wash up. When they do, they are plucked out of the water and put on the beach. Then, they are surveyed. Size, gender, and location data are all collected. Next, they attach a tag in order to identify the crab for further research. This program generates valuable data that can help environmental officials know when, where, and how to help horseshoe crab populations. The best part is, it's carried out by average citizens and open to the public. Anyone young, old, or regardless of knowledge or training can help. These citizen scientists are doing their part to save the world. The question stands, what will you do? <laughs>